So at Occipital, we developed this technology called Bridge Engine, which is basically a software engine that's able to track an environment and insert virtual entities, um, characters, things like of that nature, mm -hmm. uh, which can cast their own shadows, they can react to the physics of the real world. You could use this to play a game in your house, you could use this to place furniture in a space. Okay. So for starters, what we'll do is we'll initialize the environment. So I'm going to actually use a depth sensor for that. This is our structure sensor, and I'm going to attach it to an iPad. This is the latest generation iPad, uh, iPad Pro 9.7 inch. So first I'm going to open up an app that allows us to scan a room. So I'm going to scan in this couch and I'm going to pan up. You can see I'm basically we're kind of painting in this environment. And I'll stop there. And so here we've created a model of the room and we can move around it. Okay. And from there, we will memorize that model and we'll move into a tracking mode, essentially. And um, now we're gonna launch into the mixed reality tracking. Okay, is it still using the sensor here? Uh, we are actually not using the sensor. Oh, so okay. I can take that off entirely. So once you have that initial data? Yep. Okay. That's the new thing, is that okay. we're able to, to track an environment uh, without any more without depth any, any longer. Okay, got it. So here we are, um, we're tracking this environment. We have this little character. Uh, we have a little gun on the side we can tap and actually shoots at him. You can see that the, uh, the uh, environment is uh, reactive. So the objects that I shoot into the it's environment actually bouncing are, off the couch it's actually there. bouncing off the couch. Okay. So it's like physics, but not with a pre-built model, but with something that was essentially oh, scanned. He has a shadow now. He has a shadow. Okay, so and is the shadow actually reacting to the environment itself? It is, yeah. You can notice how it's kind of casting and falling off of the, uh, the couch and okay. in, a, in a natural way. Sure. We find that shadows and you know, high-speed tracking and shadows and physics simulation are important to make something feel real. Okay. And so here, yeah, really the, the brand new thing is that we're doing this without any depth sensor. Okay, now so you this, just need the depth sensor to capture that initial data. That's right. You could, you could be doing this on a phone, uh, you could be doing this on any device. So you could have one person in your family that has a depth sensor and then any other number of folks that okay. could interact with the same scene. So what's the advantage here if you still need that depth sensor uh, to begin with? Uh, what's the advantage of not needing it after the fact? Could you do things like uh, in a classroom, you could have the teacher capture the classroom the first time and then have all the students pull out their yeah. phones? So this is part of a progression to hitting a wider and wider set of people with our tech. Mm -hmm. And like you said, you could have one person with a depth sensor that initializes an environment and then 20 or 30 other people that interact with it. Okay. Could be a classroom, it could be in your home. You could have one person who's got the, the fancy depth device who maps out the entire house and then you all play a game okay. or you all review a design that you wanna check out in, this, in your same space. This just means everybody can pull out their, their phones and interact. Here I've got a lens so that we can see a wider view but that's not even necessary either. This okay. could literally just be a bare iPhone. Okay, very cool, well thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.